Have you ever wondered how much UFC fighters actually make from the promotional guidelines compliance pay? Well, it's a fascinating subject indeed. The UFC promotional guidelines compliance program is a significant part of a fighter's income. It encompasses various requirements such as outfitting, media commitments and adhering to the fighter code of conduct. In essence, it's a structured system that rewards fighters for their professionalism both inside and outside the octagon. This program replaced the previous UFC athlete outfitting policy, marking a significant shift in how fighters are compensated. The payouts from this program vary based on the fighter's total number of UFC bouts, including fights from the Zufa era we see in Strikeforce, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Now let's delve deeper into the payout details of the recent UFC 301 event. UFC 301 was a thrilling event held at the Rio Arena, but do you know how much each fighter earned? Let's dive into the details. Alexandra Pantoja pocketed a cool $42,000 after his victory against Steve Erceg, who received $32,000. Jose Aldo, a seasoned veteran in the octagon, walked away with $21,000 after defeating Jonathan Martinez, who earned $11,000. Anthony Smith also bagged $21,000, leaving his opponent, Vitor Petrino, with $4,500. Michel Pereira won his bout against Ihor Potieria and earned himself $11,000, while his opponent took home $6,000. Caio Baraljo and Joe Anderson Brito each earned $6,000 for their victorious efforts against Paul Craig and Jack Shaw, respectively, who received $16,000 and $6,000. Iasmin Lucindo, Miktibek Orolbay, Draka Klos, Mauricio Ruffi, Dione Barbosa and Ismael Bonfim each walked away with earnings ranging between $4,000 to $11,000. Alessandro Costa rounded off the list with a payday of $4,500 after defeating Kevin Borjas, who received $4,000. Now you might be wondering, how are these payout figures determined? Well, the UFC Promotional Guidelines Compliance Program sets the payout tiers based on the fighter's total number of UFC bouts. This includes fights from the Zufa era WEC and Zufa era Strike Force. For instance, a fighter with one to three bouts earns $4,000 per appearance, while champions earn $42,000. Title challengers aren't far behind, receiving $32,000. On top of this, fighters are entitled to receive royalty payments amounting to 20 to 30% of any UFC merchandise sales featuring their likeness. Quite a substantial amount, isn't it? But how does this compare to previous events and the total year to date? Stick around as we delve into the numbers in the next segment. The total UFC promotional guidelines compliance pay for UFC 301 amounted to a whopping $280,000. But how does this stack up against the total for 2024 so far? Well, let's dive into the numbers. The total payout for UFC 301 was indeed a hefty sum of $280,000, but that's just a drop in the ocean compared to the total payout for all UFC events in 2024 so far, which comes to a staggering $2,920,000. Now, this might seem like a lot, but how does it compare to previous years? In 2023, the total UFC promotional guidelines compliance payout was a whopping $8,188,000. That's almost three times the amount paid out this year. Furthermore, in 2022, the total payout was even higher, reaching $8,351,500. So while the year-to-date total for 2024 might seem significant, it does show a marked decline when compared to the previous two years. This could be due to a variety of factors, including fewer events being held or changes in the promotional guidelines compliance program. However, when we compare the 2024 total to that of 2021, which was $6,167,500, we can see that there has been a substantial increase. Clearly, the trend isn't linear, and the payouts can fluctuate from year to year. The total payout from the program to date stands at an impressive $25,657,000. This goes to show the significant financial commitment the UFC has made towards ensuring compliance with its promotional guidelines. So while the payout for UFC 301 might seem substantial, it's just a part of a much larger picture. And that picture is one of a sport that is rewarding its fighters for their commitment and adherence to the UFC's guidelines. As we can see, the UFC Promotional Guidelines Compliance Program has resulted in significant payouts for fighters. 
Now that we've broken down the numbers, what does this tell us about the UFC's payout structure? Well, the UFC Promotional Guidelines Compliance Program is a significant part of a fighter's earning potential. It's a system that rewards commitment to the UFC brand from outfitting to media obligations and adherence to the Fighter Code of Conduct. This program has replaced the previous payment system, the UFC Athlete Outfitting Policy, and seems to be a more comprehensive and fair approach to compensating fighters. One major takeaway is the tiered payout structure based on the number of UFC bouts a fighter has participated in, including Zufa-era WEC fights from January 2007 onwards and Zufa-era strike force bouts from April 2011 onwards. This tiered structure rewards not only the champions and title challengers but also the veterans of the sport, recognizing their loyalty and dedication to the UFC. Another important point is the royalty payments fighters receive from UFC merchandise sales featuring their likeness. This is a significant addition to their earnings, demonstrating that the UFC recognizes the commercial value each fighter brings to the organization. Looking at the UFC promotional guidelines, Compliance Program's total payout to date, which stands at a whopping $25,657,000, it's clear that the program is steadily increasing its payouts year on year. This trend suggests a positive future for the program, one where fighters can potentially earn more as the sport of MMA continues to grow in popularity. However, it's crucial to remember that these payouts are just one aspect of a fighter's earnings. Other income sources such as fight purses, bonuses and sponsorship deals also contribute to a fighter's total income. We hope this gives you a clearer understanding of the UFC's payout structure. Remember, it's not just about the fight in the ring, it's also about the financial rewards that come with it.